So President Park Geun-hye, who took office seven months ago with great expectations surrounding her, is seeing her electoral honeymoon collapse around her as she rolls back the big welfare pledges that helped her take power. The Korean leader is scaling down pension payouts for the elderly and delayed planned college tuition subsidies by one year until 2015 due to a revenue shortfall. Flagship pledges that won her support from young and old voters during the presidential elections last year. Joining us live in the studio for a discussion on the government's pension plan and its implications is UJ Eek, senior researcher of the Economic Engineering Committee at the Future Politics Economic Institute. Thank you for joining us today. All right, so Dr. Yu, uh, the details of the Park Geun-hye administration's basic pension program have been unveiled. And as widely expected, the Korean leader uh, was forced to scale back aid that she had pledged to pensioners in, the tw in 2014. Now, what is the general public's response to the revised plan? The generally, the presidential campaign promise for basic pension for elderly is actually unconditional allowance for uh, allowance of 200,000 won. But it is very difficult to, to raise the, this fund on, by 2017 for five years of the, her presidency. But it turned out to be on realistic basic uh, pension system because of the economic expression and the decrease of the national tax revenue and also increasing old aging people by 2017. Wow. Well, the people think about uh, the President Park has to examine the real revision of the welfare and also apologize of the, his change or her change of the welfare plan to the people. But recently, the unconditional uh, month allowance for 65 over aged people are just the politic bubble agenda and promise, but it's not for the real world of the situations. In addition, financial subsidiary for, for severe diseases are also taken into consideration, but detail of treat, treatment are not preferred. Okay, now we are anticipating considerable political repercussion for President Bag. Now let's turn to the responses from both the ruling and main opposition parties. Uh, how do you expect the issue to play out in the nation's political circles? As a matter of fact, the improvement of the population health and well-being are usually requiring for enormous challenge of a huge investment. Improving welfare service without increasing tax revenue must be unrealistic in most of the nation in OECD. The Democratic Party clearly expressed the negative aspect of the linkage and the connection between basic pension and the national pension system. Because the national pension system is basically safe guard for the poor senior safety systems. Meanwhile, we have to investigate uh, the circumstances and uh, condition of the welfare system before making decision of the increasing tax revenue. This means that the government should make a great effort to examine the situation of the leakage of the welfare fund and to check the efficiency and the effectiveness of welfare investment to compare with the population social and health service satisfaction. Uh, so basically the main reason behind uh, reversing the pledge uh, lies in the nation's uh, economic and fiscal soundness. Of course, Korea is grappling with a slowing business investment and rising household as well as sovereign debt. Uh, 
and dwindling tax revenues. Some are saying that levying more tax on perhaps the nation's wealthiest uh, is the only way to realize President Macron's pledges. Is this a possibility? Well, the President Bob still keep a foregoing presidential campaign and strategy not to impose tax that reach the, the, the class. However, opposition party want to raise the, the tax for the rich to maintain, of, to maintain the quality of the well-being and the basic pension systems. So I think that what is the best solution to negotiate between two different parties is that we will mobilize another aspect of the participation from the, the private company or other sector industries. Okay, we're going to move on to the final question we have for you because we are short of time, uh, Dr. Yu. Uh, now, there is criticism uh, that the government is not addressing the welfare issue in an efficient manner. The welfare-related policies, policies are adopted and carried out not just by the nation's health and welfare ministries, but by other ministries as well. Uh, now, it appears to me that there needs to be a government-wide control tower managing the country's welfare policies and spendings. So, in your opinion, what are your thoughts on that? Well, the currently, the Bank government spend about $100 billion for national welfare system. But some part of the this budget must be used for the improvement of the welfare infrastructure system because while we spend a lot of the money, but the, the condition of the living quality still unveiled. How to cope with this unveiled information for marginalized people and society? So this is why we need a reshape of the welfare information infrastructure and the, the facilities. Okay, Dr. Liu Jake, Senior Researcher of the Economic Engineering Committee at the Future Politics Economic Institute, thank you so much for your time. We look forward to having you again someday. Thank you so much.